If ain't all the law and I do y'all remember La La Lights? Hello, my name is Ronald. Um, we're part of Life Elixir. Um, we sell cold, fresh, fresh, fresh juices. Um, they're from Wealth and, um, Wealth and Health. Hi, my name is Shonda, and my company is called KQ Shea Butter. We make organic whipped body butters. Um, different websites. My name is JoJo. You can, you can find me on Aura Line. That's Aura Align on Instagram. Um, I'm always around. I'm local. I'm in Brockton, Boston. I'm just young and doing it. <laughs> Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome back again to another Y'all's Approved Apparel Mall and Let's Talk. My name is Corinne Ifeyalawa, and I am here with Sister Hewlett. And today we are going to be talking about her tutoring services. This sister is bringing it all, and this has been a long time coming. I am so very proud of her. I remember when we first met, this was a goal of yours. And I tell you, when you set a goal and you really want to do it, you can get it done. My sister is living proof of that. And so we are going to, without further ado, uh, we are going to get started and just dive right in. Welcome, Sister Hewlett. Um, I was going to say introduce yourself, but I think I already, <laughs> I think I've already done that. Um, tell us, tell us a little bit about your, uh, your tutoring services, how you got started. I took a look at your resume and it is action packed. Uh, is there anything that you don't know? <laughs> Thank you, Sister Karen. Thank you for having me. I am so happy to be here and to share what I do with the wider audience and I hope that it will resonate with the right folks who are interested in allied healthcare or folks who just need some assistance with their business and science studies at high school level or even those who are entering into medical school or nursing school, allied healthcare school. So that is pretty much what I am catering to, what I'm doing and so I'm happy to be here to share with you. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time out um, to share this with us. So what inspired you to um, pursue a career in, in teaching in allied health and health? It's amazing. It's amazing because when I started out, I was supposed to be a medical doctor. So that was the goal. I was supposed to be a medical doctor. And along the way, I got married and I had children and I realized, hey, the most important thing for me was to be a wife and a mom, but I still wanted to be in healthcare. So starting out, fresh out of college, I went to work in a hospital. So I've worked in the healthcare field in that capacity, working in laboratories in different countries and having the opportunity to teach and instruct while working at those various institutions. And it's interesting because years ago when I left high school, there was this one lady in human resources who said, I think you'd make an excellent teacher. And I said, no, I don't think so. And so it's quite interesting that all over 20 years you know, later, I am now back in the classroom. Yeah, yeah, she spoke that right into <laughs> existence, right? Um, and you know, we, we need more of that. So you said you have been doing this for, um, for how long? For how long? Oh, Almost 20 years. It's been that long. I'm not as young as I look. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look very young. Uh, so for 20 years, um, tell me what steps you had to take to get to this point. I mean, you, right. you got married, you had children, but that didn't slow you down. That didn't stop you at all. No, and I really hope to inspire young women who, you know, they may feel like, you know, because they have children, it's over, but no, it's not. So fresh out of what we call sixth form here in St. Kitts and Nevis, which is just, you know, after high school, you go to uh, do an associate program for two years. So I did that in sciences, of course. 
And then after that, I worked. I went to work at the General Hospital in my island, and I, I started as a student medical technologist, or what some may call a student medical lab scientist. And after that, I wanted to do my undergrad in healthcare, of course, and so I went on and I, I did my undergrad all online while working in a university lab, and that's where I was formally introduced to instructing because while working there, I had to instruct persons much older than myself in the various laboratory disciplines. So I did that for eight years, yes, and I went on to work in another country, and I found myself in a college teaching allied healthcare, you know, and I'm, I'm very grateful and thankful for the steps that I took, you know, from working in a small hospital, uh, to working in a university, in a laboratory, and then going on to continue building a lab and teaching nurses and patient care technicians. So that was my step over that 20 year period. And of course, certifications uh, were a part of that. You know, so starting off at the hospital, I had to become a registered phlebotomy technician. So in 2006, I did a course and I successfully passed the practical and I did my exam. And so I was certified by an organization called American Medical Technologists, which was actually established in the 1930s. And it is connected to a lot of different organizations like the CDC, um, like the Institute of Credentialing Excellence, um, career education, colleges and universities. They're linked with so many different organizations across the U.S. So I was able to catapult my career starting as a registered phlebotomy technician and of course going onward in my educational journey. Yes. Wow. Wow. I mean, you you have your MBA in what international business, uh, your your MSc in um, infectious diseases. Yes, I'm uh, almost I mean, done with that MSc. <laughs> <laughs> this list goes on and on and on, and so um, what are you? I, I know that you are you are you are you are. Um, offering uh, tutoring services. So talk to us a little bit about that. I see so, you have an audience that you um, are looking to, to tutor. Great question. So one of the countries in which I worked, I worked at a community college and they had a center for professional development and in an area where they focused on nursing because they also offer a bachelor's of science in nursing, but then they also offer allied healthcare fields such as clinical medical assisting and medical administrative assisting and phlebotomy and medical billing and coding and all that good stuff. And so they cater to young persons uh, um, who came out of probably high school and they have an interest in the medical field, but ne not necessarily wanting to become a doctor or a lab scientist. And so they created an avenue for young folks or even older folks who have a genuine love for healthcare to be able to get training in those areas. And I really love that idea. And I taught at this school for five years and I wanted to come back to my country and spark an interest in this because in my country, we have persons going into nursing and they travel overseas to become doctors and, and so on and so forth. But then I also wanted to offer tutoring services internationally. Because for example, when I was training to become a registered for phlebotomy technician, we didn't really have that much interaction with the outside um, persons in allied healthcare. It was more catered to the Caribbean. And in joining AMT, of course, through networking, I get to meet persons from all over the world who are certified in AMT. And so I wanted to, um, I wanted to share uh, this with the wider populace, you know, persons in the Caribbean region, persons in the U.S., especially those who may be disenfranchised, you know, single moms, persons who are marginalized, you know, because I wanted to give them that hope that there are careers that you can step into. You know, and also it's very important to be certified in what you do. So AMT is a very credit, credible organization. And of course, there are other organizations such as NHA, 
an NCA that persons can be certified in. But I just want to encourage and market a bit of AMT to persons in those demographics that I mentioned before. And so this is an opportunity for folks to learn more about allied healthcare and to spark some interest and for folks to be able to reach out to me so that I can help guide them, you know, as they choose the allied healthcare path for themselves. Wow. Wow. And I'm looking at the, the prices are extremely um, reasonable for, um, for what you're offering. So I'm just looking here at um, the services that you will be providing. Can you talk to us a little bit about the services that you'll be providing? Awesome. So for example, in allied healthcare, we have phlebotomy. And so persons who want to be patient care technicians, they usually need that skill or persons who are going to be nursing assistants, for example. They may be um, in nursing homes or hospitals and they need that phlebotomy um, course. And usually they have to do something like 50 to 100 sticks or venipuncture. Um, they have to learn to, to do the finger stick, the heel stick, you know, venipuncture, you know, and they need to know a bit of anatomy and physiology. And so that course, for example, phlebotomy, goes through all those areas. They learn about the circulatory system. Uh, they learn about the various instruments that we use and the history of using these instruments, as well as learning about the different tests uh, that and the different samples that are required for various tests in the lab. And then learn about the requisition forms and a little bit about health insurance and stuff. So it's a it's a holistic course. It's not just about taking blood. Uh, there are other samples that phlebotomists uh, can take. And so that is a bit about what that that is a bit about what that course is about. And so I'm hoping that there are persons out there who are interested and would want to reach out to me and I can guide them along. Um, another one uh, is medical administrative assistant. So a medical administrative assistant typically works in a doctor's office and they handle your medical records and they do medical records management, they do some billing and coding. In my region as well, particularly in my country, folks are not um, certified. Mostly you would have folks who are um, retired nurses. You know, they would be the ones working in the doctor's office, but they're not certified specifically as medical administrative assistants. So as an allied healthcare instructor, you know, someone like me would be the one to approach them and say, hey, you should be certified to be handling this data and these are the courses that you should be doing and this is um, I'm someone who can guide you along getting certified with AMT for example so that you have a regionally nationally globally recognized qualification that can take you from the region and elsewhere you know you can work in the US and the UK and other places once you're AMT certified or other you know organizations like NEJ. When my daughter was going to school to be a medical assistant, I wish I knew you. Um, I was her test dummy, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so she stuck you a bunch of times? <laughs> well, I didn't let her stick me, but just take after taking my blood pressure and cutting off the circulation in my whole arm and fingers, she was not getting a stick out of me. So, <laughs> yeah. So we have we have prosthetic arms for that now, but you know, <laughs> back in 2006 when I certified, there were brave doctors and nurses that let me test <laughs> my venipuncture on them. Oh yeah, yeah, she went right down the line. It was me, then you know my husband, and everybody else was just. I got something to do. I'll be right back and go to the store. I've got to clean up something. Everyone suddenly had something to do that. You know, normally I would say, hey, can you, you know, do this chore or that chore? When she came around and said, I need, you know, <laughs> I need to do this on you. I need to write a report and I got to be able to tell them this and that. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was quite the journey. Wish I knew you, <laughs> but I know you now. Um, so, um, so this, this is great. And so... The registration I see here, the registration fee is um, 
$50 and it is a monthly charge of $130 again which is very reasonable for the guidance that you're offering um, I see here it says SAT prep classes what is that all right so for students who want to go on to college or to you know they may want to go and pursue medical lab science I would offer them SAT prep classes so if they are needing some help in biology or chemistry or any of those sciences, I am available to assist them and offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring, whether virtually for, um, for persons who are, you know, outside of the region or in person, in person for persons who are on island. Uh, similarly for what we have, we have CAPE, which stands for Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Exam. We have CAPE Business and Science classes. So this is like, um, entrance level sciences that you, you you would do before you go into a U.S. college or university. So these are at the Caribbean advanced level and they are accepted in the U.S. and in the U.K. as well. So it's just a step up above high school and I would prepare students uh, for those exams which are done in you know, May, June. And the other one, CSEC, that stands for the Caribbean Secondary or it was formerly known as the Caribbean Examination Council exam. Uh, there are classes such as accounting and operation, sorry, um, management of business or principles of business. And then the science classes are things like physics and chemistry and human and social biology. So pretty much the same, the prep for those exams, the mid-June standardized exams that they'd have to do, I'd be the one to you know, give them that extra help. Now, uh, so this, the tutoring that you're offering, is this, um, is this, um, how long have you been offering the tutoring services? All right, so I've been an adjunct instructor for about five or, five or six years. And the programs that we did, and some of them, we were meant, we were called um, mentors. So for example, some programs run for six weeks and would mentor that program. So for example, the medical administrative assistant program, it's a six month program that runs with the NCA um, or NCCA, they changed their name, National Healthcare Association. And uh, we provide them with the syllabus, the state uh, recognized syllabus from whichever US state and we provide them that continuous uh, support. So they get support throughout the six weeks and they get support a few months after the course to prepare them to do their their, um, their national examinations. Wow. Wow, you ain't playing. Uh, <laughs> you can grip with everything. And so um, how long does your program So for example, the phlebotomy program, it depends. So if you're a student who came from the patient care technician course or the nursing assistant course, then your program could be cut down to six weeks. So ordinarily it could take 12 weeks, right? If you don't have the prerequisites, but persons in the patient care technician and, and nursing assistant program would have had prerequisites such as uh, anatomy and physiology. And so they go right into phlebotomy. They go right into the history of the different devices that we use and an overview of the circulatory system and so on. So it depends on where the student is, but if they have no experience whatsoever, a phlebotomy program would run them 12 weeks and they would have about four weeks of practical in that 12 weeks. actually not bad again you know for the package that you are that you are offering and so if if anyone is interested in um, um, applying for your tutoring services uh, what steps do they need to take how would they get in contact with you I see some contact information here how do you hold the classes are they um, do you do Zoom? Are they online classes? Um, talk to me about that. 
All right, so the classes are pretty much virtual. So for example, for medical administrative assistant, they will be learning to use programs for medical billing and coding. So it's completely virtual. It's a lot of theory. Uh, that that um, program involves learning a lot about the HIPAA rules and um, medical laws and medical ethics. So that one is completely virtual. Uh, in terms of phlebotomy, as I mentioned before, that program can be up to 12 weeks long and then there is a four week practicum. So depending on where you are, you would have eight weeks of theory. And then I would reach out to various centers that are accredited so that persons can go and get the 50 to 100 venipuncture um, that is required by AMT in order to qualify to sit their exam. So it's simply an affiliation with, say, an, a hospital, for example, in order to meet that requirement. Okay. All right. And then uh, now, if we, if, if anyone was interested in, in joining joining your program, um, how how would they go about doing that? And what is it that they need? Do they need anything? So generally. We just need someone with a high school diploma. That is the requirement for American medical technologists. Just have a high school diploma. And they can reach out to me via phone, via WhatsApp, via email. And I am also backed by American medical technologists. And so I have available to me as an allied health instructor, I have all of the necessary resources to prepare students for their exams. So that includes mock exams and that includes zero consumables. Um, but those are also provided for uh, at the, the clinical site that the student will go to, to do their um, venue cultures. So virtually, I would have all their study materials, I would have their practice exams, I would have the syllabus backed by AMT and provided also by AMT. Wow. Um, so you will find uh, the links contact information, everything that you need in the description box below. You definitely want to take advantage of this, especially with the way this world is heading um, today. You want this type of education. You really, really need it. And it's not too late. Yes, you know, if you are, you know, a single mother, whether you're married, um, you know, whether you're 50, you know, it's not not too old to um, to learn, and it it appears that you give these um, these tutoring sessions in, in bite size, you know, bit by bit, you know, portions, so that you can absorb what you're reading, what you're being taught, so that you can retain it all, and so you know, is to not be intimidated by. Um, you know, taking on um, such a feat, really. And the prices are very, very, very reasonable. Uh, Sister Huda, do you have any advice or anything um, that you would like to add for someone who um, may be interested in um, your tutoring services and pursuing a career in, um, um, in, this, in, this health, in the health field? Yes, thank you. My advice would be never, never give up. You know, it's never too late. You know, it's never too late to learn. And as a instructor, I'm here to take things as slow as needed, you know, at your own pace. And mentoring, I'm here for you pretty much all the time, <laughs> giving you that guided instruction and ensuring your success. So it's never too late. I'm very approachable. I love teaching. I've been doing it for quite some time now. and. You know, just reach out to me if you're interested in taking that next step. All right. So there you have it. Uh, CH Tutoring Services. You will find all of the contact information in the description box below. Reach out to Sister Hewlett. Um, it has been, how long have I known you now? For like three years. <laughs> Uh, two years ago, um, I said, I asked if you were going to, you know, would you do, would you mind doing some Zoom lessons, right? And you said, I, I need to be certified first. I want to do this first. And you went and did it. You, 
<laughs> Definitely, yeah. You know, it's you have to be backed up, you know. And I'm so happy that I finally am. And I'm looking forward to helping others become certified as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm so proud of you too. It's one thing to say you want to do it. And it's another thing to put in the work uh, and buckle down and actually do it. And now you're in a position where you can help others to do the same. Hugging you from a distance. <laughs> thank you so much for having me and for all your positive words and encouragement and thank you so much for your platform and all that you do for all of us yes yes hallelujah all praises to the most high thank you again for joining us on Yaz Approved Apparel Mall uh, may the peace and blessings of the most high rest upon you and your families and we are going to say Hello. Hello. <laughs>